I want to talk about one big reason why Fusion is better than Onshape. I like to push Onshape as the better software. I think it's more of a professional level software. I think that there are better tools for the designers, but there is something that Fusion has, which is a big strength, which Onshape is still missing. I'm going to come over here to Fusion and we're going to see that we have this chain link, just like you would see on a bicycle. So if I move this chain link, everything is mated with Revolut mates. There's nothing special about that. You can do this in many CAD softwares, any 3D CAD software, but now we're going to try something special. I'm going to come over here to where it says contact sets. I'm going to unsuppress my contact set. Now let's try that same thing. I'm going to move the chain and you're going to notice that the chain, the links do not contact each other. They do not touch. You can actually hit the links against each other. And this is very helpful. If we're working in an assembly where we want to see how the parts are going to interact with each other, it's very useful to be able to have this interference type feature. I'm going to come over here to Onshape and we're going to look at this cycloidal gearbox I designed. So I can rotate this wheel and you can see that that cycloid follows suit. Now there's something that's a big issue here, but it's kind of hard to see. If I keep rotating this, you'll actually notice that the cycloid, it's in contact with the bearing. The reason is because there are no contact sets in Onshape. In Fusion, this is native to the software. You always have access to the contact set. Now let's take a look at the differences in collaboration between Onshape and Fusion. I'm going to start by looking at Fusion. We can look at versions, so I can look at the history and the uses and where a part is used and also the associated drawings with that part. I can also send this to somebody so I can right click and share a link. I can, for instance, create a design, share a link with you. You can open it, you can work on it. And if we come over here to where it says open on the web, it's gonna automatically open up a browser and it's gonna show all the content that I have. So it's gonna show all of these parts that I've created as well as the members of the project. When it comes to the way that Onshape organizes it, I like it a little bit more. I think it's more intuitive and I'm going to show you why. So if I right click on a feature that I've created, I can, for instance, create a comment and I can write, um, add a chamfer. And that's going to be a con a comment that you could see comes up in the feature manager tree. And I can also right click, add a comment. And this time the comment is actually gonna have someone's name. So I can type an at and I could put in someone's name. And that's actually going to ping that person. So this person, John, they're gonna be able to see that I ping them, that I basically sent them a message, asking them to do something, asking them to change something. And it's right there in the software. You can even stream the video of what that person is working on and see it on your screen so that you could both work on it together. And another thing that I like about it is if we come to versions and history, we can create a version uh, based on an old version. I can basically branch. So I'm going to create a branch. This is going to be B1. And what we're doing is we're creating an offshoot of the original design. So basically I can, I can make changes to an old revision or I can make changes to a new revision and not have it be the main revision. The main one being the ultimate one, the final one that really allows for a lot of experimentation. It means that we can make changes and not worry about the effects of these changes while these sorts of options are constantly being added to Fusion, I think the way that Onshape displays them is much more organized. Now here's one really big difference between Onshape and Fusion. That's manufacturing. So I'm going to come over here in Fusion and I'm going to click on Manufacture. 
and we're going to see that we have a whole manufacturing suite. We have setup, we have 2D uh, turning, machining, milling, face stuff, contour, um, all of these different tools that you can use. And many people swear by it. If you look at some of the big Facebook groups for Fusion, um, a lot of people are doing milling at home with their little CNC machines using Fusion and also even using Fusion 360 back when that was a thing. And if we look at Onshape, you're not really going to see those tools unless you have the full version. So we're going to look at that a little bit. If I come over here to the App Store, you're going to see that there are some cam tools. But again, you need to have the full version. The full version, the professional version is quite expensive, but it happens to have um, master cam as part of that. And that's really a, an enterprise level software. So it's really about what you want to get out of it. Now, I'm not certain that there's really any other way to do computer aided manufacturing in Onshape. You could correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm almost certain that you have to use one of these third party softwares. Now, um, Fusion definitely has the advantage of manufacturing and that's something that I think they're going to continue to build on. That's actually something that when you look at the Facebook groups, a lot of people that buy the full version of Fusion do so because of the manufacturing capability. When it comes to small scale manufacturing, the choice is clear. Fusion is better. If you're a hobbyist with a milling machine in your garage and you want to get started and get going, then of course you're going to want to use the Manufacture tab in Fusion. Now, if you're a company and you have a few different milling machines and turning machines and you have professionals working on them, then of course you're going to want to use Onshape because it has the master cam integration. To sum it up, I would say that the collaboration in Onshape is much better than the collaboration in Fusion. It's much easier to organize teams, organize changes, and organize releases in Onshape. Now, when it comes to fine details of the modeling and the assembly, I would say that Fusion wins, especially because it has contact sets and some of those more advanced features of assemblies.